magical friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, the everything about Harry Potter books, reading, and travel. I am back from London, as you saw in my previous post, and I will be posting out a few more videos of different things that we did and some of the stuff that I bought while I was there, most of it being Harry Potter stuff. You guessed it. What else am I going to buy? But Harry Potter stuff. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down in the corner. We'd love to have you join our magical family. Today we are going to talk about the cursed child that we saw at the palace. If you haven't yet watched the cursed child, you definitely should find one that's playing close to you. It was so magical. The way they have done all of the special effects on the stage worked so well. I wasn't sure how they were going to do the magic, but the way they have it worked out, it is so believable that you actually think that they are having a huge battle at the end. It's really neat. You definitely have to see it. I think my absolute favorite thing that I saw during the whole two parts of The Cursed Child were the Dementors in part one. Dementors are in part one and part two, but the, what they have done with part one, how they've got it all hooked up with the fabric of their cloaks and everything and how they move, it was breathtaking. It sent a chill up your spine because they seemed so realistic and that definitely made it for me. They were really cool in part two, but in part one, the way they have it done, was the best thing I have ever seen. There was also a part when they disappear and they go down into the ministry and they're in the phone booth. That was also really cool. And then oh, there's so many other things, but I don't want to say any more because you have to see it for yourself. Go and watch The Cursed Child. Wherever it is closer to you, go and see it. It is worth it. We watched it all in one night. I probably would recommend breaking it up into two parts. Don't watch the whole thing back to back. It was unbelievable and great and I loved it. Don't get me wrong, but it was a little bit too long to sit there for the whole thing. The time went by super fast, but by the end of the second half, I was just getting tired. But mind you, I had done a lot of stuff that week getting to that point. We'd been to museums and sightseeing, we saw some family, we did tons and tons of stuff and we were just go, go, go the whole time and it was very long to sit there in a dark theater even though I was just focused and I was watching it and I loved it. Two parts would probably be better. Don't watch it back to back, watch one and then watch two. Keep it close, maybe watch one one day and watch two the next day. But yeah, it was so much fun. I shouldn't have gone there so tired but even then you couldn't take your eyes off of it. It was just breathtaking and the cast we saw that night did a wonderful job. They have a little gift shop in the front of the theater, I'm sure they all do, but I got a few things, not too much, just a couple little things that they had and I got their programs, which of course how would I go there and not get a program? The theater was spectacular with all of the detail that it had. Up there was the bars and then they had ice cream and the intermissions and these little containers and they brought them around. I only took a few pictures of the theater. You weren't allowed to take pictures obviously while performing, but I got a picture at the end when they were all bowing and I got just some pictures in the building itself. The theater, I love to perform. If you know me personally, you know I love being on stage and I would have loved to have been on that stage. I went and stood by the front and I looked up, so pretty close to being on stage, but just the auditorium itself with the detail and the lighting in there, it was spectacular. Definitely check it out if you're in London. And then if you go past the theater at night outside with it all lit up, it just looks magical. They couldn't have picked a better location for it. It breathtaking. I don't know how else to describe it. Just go find out for yourself. It was the best. So we're gonna get started here with what I bought at The Cursed Child. Once again, they have these wonderful bags, which I am so thankful for because I'm a sucker for a really cool bag. Just stamp on where I bought your stuff and I will keep this bag. I will use it for other things. I will decorate my room with it. As long as it's got Harry Potter and wherever I was shopping, I am very happy. What I grabbed when we got into the theater was the program at part one. 
it has obviously Harry and his son. And we have on the back the theater. See what I mean about how cool it looks at night when it's lit up? Definitely, if you cannot get tickets to it, because I know it's hard to get tickets to The Cursed Child, but at least walk by and see how neat the theater looks. On the side, they also have a few pictures of Harry and Albus. See it, you know where you are because there is no question about it. And inside, some pictures, different things about all the cast that we got to see. The costumes were really neat too. They did them very well. This was really neat. I was very happy they had a program. And then during intermission, I went up to the gift shop and I got a t-shirt that's Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, just like my bag. And then on the back, it says the Palace Theatre, London. At the top here, it's got the clock in the corner on the arm. It also has a very nice there. It's also really soft. I quite like it. I was shocked. The gift shop upstairs, it wasn't very busy. I also got this pin. I'll show you a close-up of it afterwards. It was only $3.95 and it's cute. It's just got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the eighth story, 19 years later. And they had a magnet. I believe this one was $8.95, I think. I can't remember. It doesn't say on this one. I collected a lot of magnets on our trip. Some Harry Potter ones, some regular ones. Went everywhere I went to try to get a magnet or a postcard, something little. When we got there for part two, they had changed a lot of the stuff in the shop. There was different things, more of the dark arts kind of stuff. I didn't get much else from that. I just wanted some things that said the cursed child. And so the only thing I bought for part two was the second program that they put out, which was even bigger than the first one that I had. I actually like the second one probably better. It's pretty neat. That There is tons of cool stuff in it from part one and part two. Full-size pictures of the cast that we got to see that night. There's a poster in here. A little bit of the snow that they had released on the stage before I left. And the poster, we've got pictures. of everybody. So this is everything I got at the Palace Theatre while we were watching The Cursed Child. Here is a close-up of everything that I got. Part one's program, my magnet and pin, the t-shirt, and of course a little bit of snow, the program from part two, and the bag. All in all, we got a bunch of stuff. Wonderful evening we had out. It was so much fun. Our hotel was nice and close, so we didn't have to go too far. Thanks for watching. Have a magical day.